Law Warrior Vehicles, The Nightshade. Overview. Though it is classified as a combat scout VTOL craft, the Nightshade's main function is to carry the Guardian ECM suite into combat. The Guardian emits a broadband signal that can interfere with all sonar, radar, UV, IR, and mag scan sensors. This signal projects a cloak to a radius of about 180 meters, protecting all units within the circle. Enemy long-range sensors can find vehicles and mechs within the curtain, but the Guardian obscures the reading, preventing identification. By the time the enemy gets within visual range, sensors can sometimes override the jamming, but most pilots rely on their own eyes. The Nightshade, designed in 2597, was the first craft to carry the Guardian system. Capabilities As a combat chopper, the Nightshade is mediocre. The massive engine gives the Nightshade excellent acceleration, but at the cost of cargo space. The only weapon on the Nightshade is a medium laser mounted on the nose of the craft, and the laser has an excellent service record and is hooked to the pilot's helmet. When the pilot turns his head, the gun swivels with him. It's a good system, but the Nightshade needs supporting weapons. The Nightshade carries only two tons of standard armor plating, and so it's vulnerable to even light ground fire. As with any VTOL, the pilot's main concern is the vulnerable rotor assembly, which cannot be effectively armored for aerodynamic reasons. The Combat Moth. So it basically is. It's a 25 ton VTOL that uh, can also fly at uh, 194 kph, flat out 130 when cruising. Um, yeah, it's uh, another one of these interesting little vehicles. A uh, little Guardian ECM chopper would be very, very frustrating to come up against uh, uh, in any game, like Living Legends or MechWarrior Online, for instance. You imagine that. Uh, it would also, it would also be something I imagine a lot of a lot of players would probably. Uh, bemoan the lack of any weapons, but I mean the fact that it's a helicopter that can you know cover pretty large areas quite effective. I like support vehicles like this in in BattleTech. It makes sense to have these kind of things. Not everything is about having all the guns to shoot everything down instantly. So I quite like this. Um, just a pity there isn't more to really read out about it. To be honest, read out about it. You know, it's just not a lot. Um, and. Having a look at it now on the on the readout of the thirty fifty upgrade, and the, my my main problem with it is that the fact that it's always got to go to the pig in uh, word of Blake. Everything's going to be word of Blake. It's like go away with your word of Blake. Or it talks about variants that just they're, they're not even anything to do with the originals. You know, it's like I was like um, I'm just looking at it now deployment and all the rest of it. Word of Blake, the MSDC version is exclusive to the Word of Blake. Everything's special for the Word of Blake. Oh, the Word of Blake. Let's suck off the Word of Blake. That's what it all is. I just get tired of it. To be honest, I just want the original info. I don't want all this Word of Blakiness. That's why these ones are a little shorter, because I'm having to use TRO 2750, which didn't write up a huge amount for a lot of these vehicles, unfortunately. So, uh, apologies on that regard. But uh, there's no other TROs that have the info, sadly. So... Well, you put it with us why I'm ranting over it at the end. Anyway, have a good one. Have a drink, because I know my throat needs it. It's getting very dry at this point.